Well, this would be a bit of a different style. I know I've done these videos in the past and I know it's been a while since I've done these videos, but I wanted to have a conversation with you guys. Kind of more of a candid, you know, listen as you work type deal. Uh, just because it's the style that I like, you know, it doesn't require, require a whole lot of work and I can just kind of come on here and express and chat. So if you guys are willing to sit down for a little bit or maybe, you know, I don't know, go ahead and work, clean your room, do whatever it is you need to do, go ahead and do that because I'm gonna ramble and I'm gonna chat for just a quick sec. <clears throat> I thank myself every day for the amount of work that I put in, the amount of work that I was willing to do when I didn't want to do any work. And this whole channel is kind of derived off the fact that there has to be some sort of sacrifice that you're willing to make at some point in your life. And I think if you can come to terms with the idea that at some point you're going to have to sacrifice something, whether it be money, whether it be family, whether it be, you know, food or whatever it could be, the multitude of things it could be, I think you're going to have to realize at some point you're going to have to sacrifice something. And the quicker you can come to realize that I need to sacrifice something, the better off it can be. Like, I mean, seriously, as much as it sucks, like as much as I didn't want to give up food and I didn't want to give up comfortability and I didn't want to give up the, I, the fact that I was fine with who I was at the time being, obviously not now, but the fact that I wanted or didn't want to give that up just goes to show how much of a draw it has, that comfortability, that, that comfortness, that, that thing that you're clinging on to really needs to be let go. You know, Theo Vaughn put it greatly. He said, nothing changes if nothing changes. You know, and I thank myself every day, like I just said, that I was willing to make the sacrifice, that I was willing to make the change. And this is kind of a general chat between me and you. This is kind of like a brotherly chat. You know, that brother chat that you kind of need to kind of kick you in the bum and say, get up and go do something. Because your life can change and it's only a matter of time. And it's only a matter of work, really. You know, the whole philosophy of this channel was let's put for some work and let's change. Let's sacrifice. Let's change. You know, what are you willing to sacrifice? I think you're going to have to come to terms with what am I willing to sacrifice and what am I willing to give up? Um, it's not easy. It's never going to be easy. Don't let anybody ever rope you into that easy trap. None of this sacrifice is easy. You know, I'm not one to sit here and say that, oh, it's all easy, it's all dandy. No, it's not, brother. It's one of the hardest things you're ever going to have to do in your life is going to sit down and say to yourself that I need to sacrifice food. I need to give up food. I need to give up being lazy. I need to give up the old idea of myself. But the sweetness that you taste at the end when you said thank you for sacrificing something is incredible. Like the sweetness I feel of being able to fit in many clothes. You know, being able to fit from a medium to an XL is one of the best feelings in the world. I would sit down and I was so embarrassed of sitting down because my love handles were so bad. I remember sitting down in the tight soccer jersey one day and someone had rubbed their hands along my love handles. They were making fun. Um, and I, I really don't wish that upon my worst enemy because it's not a good feeling. But I was unhappy with where I was. I wanted to make a sacrifice. I wanted to change. And here I am. And I thank myself every day because now I can look back and say, you were making fun of me. You're not my friend anymore. It is what it is. Or maybe you can make your enemies your friends. And that's a whole different conversation. But make the sacrifice and make the change. You know, the season's changing. The season is going to inevitably change. And I think along with the seasons that you need to inevitably change. You know, nobody's coming to save you. I know it's such a cliche saying. And I know it's such an overused saying. But it's true and honest. You know, nobody's coming to save you. Are you going to change for your kid? Do you really want to say to your kid that I was too lazy to change? Are you setting an example for your kid? Are you setting an example for your parent? I mean, come on, your parent raised you. Your parent wanted to mold you into the person you are now. And is your parent? And have you done a good job in your parents' eyes? Have you lived up to your parents' expectations? As much as it's a hard pill to swallow, and sometimes hearing those words kind of irks you in the wrong way to say, who's this arrogant kid talking to me? Understand that. What I'm trying to get off to you is that, are you making yourself proud? Are you making yourself happy? Are you making God happy? Are you making your parents happy? You gotta think your parents sacrificed so much for you to be alive. Your parents sacrificed their young childhood. I know some people who were born when their parents were 19. Think about you yourself at 19 years old right now having a child, how much you'd have to sacrifice in order for your child to have a successful life. And here you are wandering and looking around thinking, I can't accomplish anything. No, you can't accomplish anything. Take the sacrifice and make the sacrifice, I guess. Not take the sacrifice, but make the sacrifice. Do the things that you don't want to do. Sacrifice the things that you don't want to sacrifice and thank yourself in the future. You know, it's been five years since I really started my weight loss journey. Maybe a bit. No, it's been about five years. And it's been a couple years since I've made a mentality shift. It's been a couple years since I've made my money grow more than it's ever had in my life. It's been a couple months or almost a year now before my, since my relationship to God's been getting even better. You know, I've been dating the same girl for six years now and life's never been sweeter. As much as I do have the ups and downs, I cherish life every day. And when you come to that state of being after you've sacrificed everything and after everything tastes so sweet and tastes great, 
you live life on the edge because now everything seems like something that's accomplishable. You know, one thing I, I didn't understand when I was younger is nothing ever seemed accomplishable. Like I always started YouTube channels and I already always wanted to do it. I always started little, not businesses, but I always wanted to make money. I always started jobs and, you know, I would see them through a bit, but I would never take it to that next level. But now that I've sacrificed, now that I've put forth the work, now that I've done so much work, I've understood that everything's achievable now. If you looked at one of my, I, I don't know when this video is going to come out, so pardon me if it hasn't. I said, <clears throat> hard work over time equals success. Hard work equals overtime equals success. Basically stating that hard work over time, over a long period of time, is always going to equal success. It's never not going to equal success. It just depends upon how long you can actually see through to it. Um, and anything in life is attainable. Anything. No matter what you're doing, no matter who you want to become, no matter what you are. Everything in life is obtainable with a little bit of sacrifice, with a little bit of hard work, and a lot, a lot of effort. Are you going to make the choice now? Or are you just going to sit there and wish upon a star? Because it all starts with actionable action. You know, it all starts with you getting up off the couch and saying, you know what, I'm going to go for a walk. You know what, I'm going to put down the fork. You know what, I don't need that cookie. You know what, I don't need those chips. You know what, I don't need to, to text that girl that I was talking to. You know what, I don't need to text that boy I was talking to. I don't need to go back to my baby mama. I don't need to do any of that because I'm disciplined. I need to stop picking up, I need to stop going on Pornhub and I need to pick up the Bible. In terms of those, right, you got to be able to make those sacrifices, but it's hard. It's not easy, but you can do it and you will do it. Starting from this day forward, it's the winter season, it's a time of change. Are you willing to change or are you going to pretend there and sit like everything's okay? Because I can almost guarantee it's something in your life can change, whether it's cleanliness in your room, the cleanliness of your car, the cleanliness of your mind. Think about it. Everything stems from something. You ever want to get an introspective onto somebody's life? Look at how clean their room is. Look at how clean their car is. Truth be told, a lot of that stuff can tell how clean somebody's mind is. So is your room clean? Is your, is your car clean? Does something need to be changed? Do you need to change your clothes? Do you need to get a new sense of style? Do you need to start saving more money? Do you need to start spending more money? Make more money? Do you need to start putting more money out there? Do you need to start speaking good things to yourself? What is it that you need to do that you haven't been doing that you know you need to do, but this is kind of your wake-up sign to say, hey, I really should have been doing that. Let me get on my grind. Because truthfully and honestly, it's your time. Season's changing. Let's go. Let's do this. Stop sitting around. Stop wasting time. And let's go.